Hello everyone, this is Jella and welcome to my channel. You guys can follow me on my Roblox account. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Hey guys, since Bloxburg became free, I made an alt account to see how it looks like as a beginner. And personally, I think it is great that they added this tutorial for starters, because when I first started out Bloxburg, I was a noob so I had to figure some stuff on my own. When I had some questions, I would ask in the chat box hoping there would be someone replying to me, and glad that people are helping each other out. So now that Bloxburg is free and there are more players, I hope everyone, especially the old players, would help new players out. I forgot how much in-game money we have before as starters. I'm not sure if it is $2,500 as well, but this is great because this tutorial lets us raise money to start off. When I started out, I didn't expect that we have to work regularly to earn money so we can build. I thought that there would be a large base money that we can use and then sell built houses for profit. But it was the opposite because when we sell off our plot or bulldoze it, we won't get the same amount as how we built it. I know how struggling it is earning money so I started making budget starter houses ranging from $5,000 above with no game pass required. If you guys want to check that out, I will put a link in the description box as well. I wanted to make small houses with a lesser plot value, that way the bills are also low. Speaking of bills, I didn't know that there was bills to pay before so I thought if I turned off my electricity, my bills would be low. Guys, you don't have to turn off your lights or TV because the bills won't be affected by the amount of electricity or lights you have. It is by how much the total plot value is. So my goal in this video is to make a family starter house where you can roleplay as a small family. As a new player, we want a decent house and because we only have a few money to start off, I am going to make a house with the money I earn in this tutorial. And so I finished the tutorial with my money being $10,575. But this will increase because I will be deleting the garage and some of the items in the starter house. Okay, let's have a quick look of how the starter house is, so before we have a dining table near the entrance door. I think that this house has a good amount of space, but I wanted to make the house smaller so when we delete some items, it won't look too empty. Alright, let's go on build mode. And if you guys are on PC as well, you can press the space bar to change the angle to a bird's eye view. And if you want to remove the grid lines, press H. So I deleted the garage and roof because I don't need that right now. I will also delete this pathway here, and I am deleting this windows because I am planning on using a long glass window later. We will use a different light later, so delete that as well. I will not use the shelves and drawer as well as the built-in wardrobe on the bedroom. I'm gonna just put the items I will use later and place it on the side for now. I am limiting the budget with what we have right now, but if you have some extra money, you can definitely add more. I am going to use the same bathroom items and living room except the TV. I will use this kitchen counters and appliances too. And that is the empty house look. Since I am planning on making the house a bit smaller, I am deleting the floors. We will make the same flooring all throughout the house later. I am thinking of moving the entrance door to the middle so we can upgrade the look. I am used to small bathrooms so we will make that a 2x2. Two two, and make the bedroom smaller as well to 3x4 squares. So I deleted the floors and walls to make room for a new one. I will change the color of the interior wall to lily white. By the way, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail, the theme of this family house is coastal inspired. So we will use the colors white, blue, and beige to make a very simple and clean minimalist looking house. With that, I will make the exterior wall blue with the wooden panel texture. I am in love with this material. It looks so good with coastal house vibe. Anyways, as much as I wanted to add wall trims and moldings, we are on a very tight budget. So I think our budget was around $13,000 after we figured out the layout. I cut off the wall less two squares. But here is the thing, I redid the wall on the front part because I made the house symmetrical looking later on. So if you are following this right now, save your money hee <laughs> hee. Alright that is our house for now, I placed back the doormat to the front. And we will make the flooring of the house. If you like to manually add floors, you can press T on your keyboard or click to manually place. And click on the corners of where you want it to be. I wanted the flooring to be light colored so I used beige wood flooring. I was think if I should extend the flooring up to the entrance door, I don't know if it looks good so let's leave that for now. I left the wall color white. I exit build mode so when I recolor it again, 
it is now separated from the interior wall color. I am adding this plain pillar and also a fence on the side so it won't look too plain. Recolor it the same as the pillar, and we will make the pathway straight towards the road. Since this is a coastal house, I will add sands on the side. And because we have a tight budget, I will only place the sand area on the corners hee hee. But feel free to add more if you have a good amount of money. I made the back corner a bit rounder looking so the sands won't look too boxy. But that is how it would turn out later since we are only using 13,000 for the house OMG. I can't even afford to add landscaping here so we will just use this tropical plant and place one on each side hee hee. I realized that having a beige wood floor extending outside would look like sand, so I made it a long pathway instead. Now we will make the roof and this is where the expensive part is because we will make two roofs. The first roof is a gable roof and I wanted the gable roof facing front so I have to adjust the corners so it would face forward. Now adjust the height and thickness of the roof. For the second part, we will use a slanted roof and place this in a square pattern clicking all the corners. So the good is we can rotate the slanted roof by pressing R, make the front part the higher part and adjust the height to your liking. I love how this now looks, but I have this urge to make the exterior symmetrical looking, so I delete the left wall and made the front walls look the same. So this is what I mentioned earlier that I delete the walls and for that I need to redo the flooring as well. This costed me more since we are on a budget and I had to redo some walls and floors. But we need to continue since we are only on the outside part. I added a pillar and fence as well to make it even. So now we will color the roof and I am sticking with our white and blue color palette. So I used some blue on the middle trim of the slanted roof and copied the color to the gable roof except change the texture the same as the exterior walls. Now we are going inside and I will just delete some items like this bed since we will use a double bed and this clothes rack as well as the TV. I think we have a lot of counters so I will delete one as well. Before I forget we need an entrance door so I am using this door with a glass window, I think it looks cute. I'm just gonna place the items so I know where it all goes. So I am going to make the living area near the entrance door, and then the kitchen, which I will make an open type of kitchen. I thought of placing an island in the center though I'm not sure if it will fit because I want a dining table as well. So here I am planning out how the kitchen would look like. And I can't cramp up the side of the bathroom door. So I am exchanging on where to place the appliances since the fridge is so big. Anyways, I changed my mind so I will just leave it for now and place the toilet items in the bathroom for now. I will use this side table for the bedroom later. So let's start with the living area and I want to maintain the light wood color on this console table. We deleted the TV to make room for this AQ Slim TV which is cheap but very cute looking. For the sofa, I will still use this color but change the wood part lighter. And for the new players, you can change the pillows by placing the pillow of your choice. I will use this square pillow and change the pillowcase to blue so it would look very coastal. I wasn't sure about the console table so I moved it here, much safer than being passed by the entrance. Anyways moving to the kitchen and dining. We still have a lot of counters so I will just delete this extra one, I think two counters is good for a small house. Anyways we will make the counter top wooden color as well. I will also delete the sink and replace with a kitchen sink. Then recolor the other counter. I also colored the kitchen towel to match the theme. And because the fridge was looking a bit dark, I made it color white to match our kitchen set as well as the stove. Because I wasn't sure of that layout, I moved the stove back to where I first placed it and I will place a plain counter beside it for prepping. I am moving the fridge next to the sink. So this is our small open kitchen layout. I did plan on adding an island counter in the middle, but I wanted to have a dining table so instead we will place this large dining table in the middle. I didn't want to cramp up some parts because I still want to have a walkway going to the bathroom and bedroom doors. So I think the simple it is, the better. Because we only have 8,000 we will use the simple chairs and replace the other one with a baby chair because we will make this a small family house. I'm adding this simple table runner since our house is very simple looking right now. I will also place plants in the middle to add greenery. And I will use this cute small table plant. Since it is very small, I added another table plant which is also my favorite. I love how simple and light it looks with cashmere wood. So now we will add a rectangular carpet in the middle for the dining set, and I just copied the color from the other carpet. We only have 7,500 and we need doors for the bathroom and bedroom. 
I still wanted to look good so I used the standard door and copied the color from the entrance door. For our bedroom, since this is a starter family, we will use double bed for the parents, and I am using the modern double bed. And we will add a crib for the baby on this empty corner. I'm gonna color the bed frame to cashmere wood as well and make the beddings white. Most aesthetic houses I watch have white bed sheets since it looks so minimalist and clean. And because I want to change the pillows, I will add more pillows to make this bed comfy. I know we are on a budget, but at this moment, I forgot hee hee. Anyways, if you like to remove this old pillows, you can place a small pillow and use the transform tool to push it down. Then place the rectangular pillows of your choice. I don't have any game pass, but good thing that we can use the transform tool for free on pillows and blankets. I added a comforter and made the folded side blue palette. For the baby crib, we still use the same color palette and I added a lullaby hanging above. I'm also adding a single sofa chair on the side for nursing and reading bedtime stories. Just copied the color from the other sofa and the pillow too hee hee. Since this family has a baby, we need to change the shower to a bathtub so all family members can use. We are getting a cheap bathtub since they also work for all ages. It looks so cute when a baby is taking a bath in the tub with a floaty hee hee. Anyways for the toilet and sink, we are going to use the ones here. And since the bathroom has wall tiles already, I am just gonna copy it to all the other walls. I will add a bigger mirror with frame because I forgot that I didn't delete the mirror from earlier. But anyways, that is fine. I grabbed the toilet paper and recolored the holder to cashmere wood. I just moved the door a bit to the side. We still have 3,500 so I am using this money to buy windows. And for the bathroom, we will just use a small window since we do not want people looking at us in our bath. I almost forgot to add a wardrobe cabinet and this is important as well. So I used my favorite open cabinet and again, we are using the same color in all our furnitures. I'm just gonna add some books and a plant on the side table. The walls are looking so empty so I'm adding a wall painting on the side and another one above the bed later. I will also add a changing table beside the cabinet because this is the only space we have left. I only have $2,500 and as much as I want to add paintings, we need to add lights first. So I am going to use ceiling fans for lighting and ventilation. I used yellowish lighting to give it a warm and vibrant room color, and since it is summer, I changed the material of the fan to wicker texture. I am going to use this on the dining and living room as well since it gives off a very strong amount of light. I will only use single ceiling lights on parts that are a bit dark like this corner, because if I used that light instead of the fan, it would cost us more to place all around. I also used that to our bathroom since it is a small space. We are at $1,600, and so I will use this long glass window since it is cheap, but looks good. I hope we still have money for floor plants, hee <laughs> hee. But anyways, I am making three windows on the front wall, and look how helpful it is by adding a window make a house pop. This is also my way of making empty walls look less empty, hee <laughs> hee. And if you guys are wondering why I add the windows last, it is because sometimes when I add the windows first and then place an item or a furniture near the wall, it doesn't place or makes an error because of the no game pass thingy. So I had it easy by placing windows last, especially on kitchen walls with counters, cabinet, and appliances. The windows being last to be placed is helpful for me. Anyways, since the house is super white looking, I made some walls an accent wall by coloring it the same as the exterior wall color. And we are down to our last $800. I see this empty space between the fridge and bathroom door, but what should I add? I am thinking if I should add baby stuff, plants, or paintings. The baby stroller is quite expensive, so I will just add floor plants. And a better way to save money is buy the tall grass and buy a cheap pot. Place them together, and this is quite cheap, but looks good. So for $85, we have a nice floor plant. I am placing it in the awkward corner of the counter and near the sofa. We still have 500, so I am coloring some walls like an accent wall. And I have no decors for the entry area, so I will just place this simple hook rack near the door. I am also adding some light switches. And before I run out of money, I need to add a floor plant in the bedroom. I will make the wall on the backside of the bed frame to be an accent wall too. And with the last money I have, I will place the large horizontal painting. And we are done. Yes!
Our coastal family starter house is now complete and the plot value right now is $15,041. This is a no game pass build perfect for those who just joined Bloxburg and doesn't have enough money to build a house this summer. Well, this is perfect for you and your small family. Anyway, here is Tom my hubby and we are moving in this house right now hee hee. OMG, I'm just kidding hee hee. I'm gonna stop now lol. Let me show you guys the tour of the new starter house. So this is the front view, I love how it looks and it will definitely look good by the beach. If you have more money, you can add wall trims to add more details, but we only have $52 left and it won't be enough to cover all the walls hee hee. Going inside, we have some hook racks for jackets or bags. And to our left is the small living room. We still use the sofa couch, but change the pillows. We have a cute TV on the side as well. And this is our open kitchen and dining area. I made this dining table a centerpiece since we do not have an island counter. But this is perfect for family dinner. We only have the necessities like the stove, fridge, and kitchen sink. If you have more money, you can add more appliances and cabinets that you like. So this is the small bathroom, very basic and not much decor that we can add. But at least we have a toilet sink and bathtub and that is all that matters. And for the bedroom, which is definitely my favorite part of the build. I love how it turned out and adding so many pillows on the bed is worth it. It gives off vacation beach house vibes, right? If you have more money to spend, Make this house a bit in the center of your plot and add pool in front like this house is on a beach. But if you are like me and just want to have a smaller amount of house bill, then this is good to go. Your bills would probably be at $90 if you have this 15k house. We have the wardrobe cabinet and changing table on the side. So yeah, that is our coastal family starter house. Here is the house layout and you can see that we made the house a bit smaller by trimming down rooms. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also click on the notification bell so you won't miss the latest videos I upload. I hope you are all safe and have a wonderful day, afternoon or night. Love you all and take care. See you on my next video.